John Wayne changed the world of movies forever. He's one of the coolest actors who ever lived, so let's saddle up and take a look back at the five most definitive westerns he ever made. The Shootist John Wayne's swan song is one of my favourite westerns. The Shootist tells the story of a character named J.B. Brooks, a legendary gunslinger who is confronting his own mortality, grappling with his past and questioning what legacy he is going to leave behind. The Shootist has such a bittersweet feel and there's just something about westerns that choose to go this route. I feel like the western genre has an ability to deliver an idea of finality and an end of an era. I think it's because that world is long gone so when you watch a western about the end of an era you really feel it because it's a snapshot of another time when things were entirely different and you are reminded of the fact that no matter how strong the old west once was nothing lasts forever. The Shootist examines whether a person can be forgiven and find a sense of meaning after a life filled with violence and regret. Brooks spends the film being reminded of the unforgiving nature of the West and it's very emotional and John Wayne is actually quite touching in the role. Alongside Wayne in this film are a host of memorable characters backing him up, from the strong-willed widow played by Lauren Bacall to the young boy seeking guidance played by Ron Howard, each character adds a richness to the story and Brooks has a unique relationship with each of them that is very meaningful because he realises he can add something to regular people's lives instead of take away as he has done in the past. The dialogue in The Shootist also really stands out, it's full of powerful lines that make you feel something. I won't be wronged, I won't be insulted, I won't be laid a hand on. I don't do these things to other people. I require the same from them. The Shootist really is a fitting ending to John Wayne's career. It holds up to the rest of his legacy, from its intense gunfights to its poignant reflections on life and death. It's one of the most enduring of Wayne's films, and was of course the final time we would see him walk off into the sunset, so it was extra powerful. Stagecoach This film had to be on the list. Stagecoach is a groundbreaking western that not only solidified John Wayne's status as a leading man, but also reinvented the genre as a whole. Stagecoach tells the story of a diverse group of passengers travelling through dangerous territory on a stagecoach. Among them is the infamous Ringo Kid, played by Wayne, who is seeking revenge on a group of outlaws. Stagecoach is a great character piece for all involved. Each passenger has a unique backstory and motivations, and this adds so much depth to the interactions. The film confidently creates multiple characters that you are intrigued by, and there's a sense of mystery to them and you're never really sure of anyone. It's impressive how well this film keeps you guessing. This is one of the early examples of this pressure cooker, people thrust together sorts of movies that we always have seen since. Wayne's portrayal of the Ringo Kid showed him to be a charismatic young actor who was going to be something special. Of course, no one could ever predict he would go on to be one of the most famous Americans who ever lived full stop. Yeah, that's special. There's a sense of innocence to the performance, while at the same time he's still showing that charisma and presence that would only continue to grow and grow over the years. My friends just call me Ringo, nickname I had as a kid. Stagecoach is brilliantly directed by John Ford. His use of wide shots and beautiful landscapes were a snapshot of where the western genre was about to go. Things were about to become epic and huge, immersing viewers in the rugged beauty of the American frontier. The Searchers. The Searchers is an absolute masterpiece of the western genre and for my money one of the greatest films ever made. It follows the story of Ethan Edwards played by Wayne, a civil war veteran who embarks on a relentless quest to rescue his niece from the Comanche warriors. Out of all his westerns this one might be the one that showcases John Wayne's versatility best. An incredibly nuanced and interesting performance. One minute you love him the next you hate him. The character is very human, he represents the best and worst elements of humanity and it's so fantastic that Wayne used to approach his characters in a truly honest way. We rarely see characters this layered and complex in today's films. The Searchers is very striking when you watch it today as it examines something that was very prevalent at this time, themes of racism and prejudice. Ethan's deep seated hatred for the Comanche people serves as a cautionary tale highlighting the destructive consequences of unchecked prejudice. The Searchers also challenges traditional notions of justice and revenge. Ethan's relentless pursuit of his niece is driven by a desire for vengeance and the film eventually raises questions about whether his quest is even righteous anymore. What do you 
want me to do? Draw you a picture? Spell it out? Don't ever ask me. As long as you live, don't ever ask me more. The film's themes creep up on you, and you find yourself feeling one thing toward Ethan in one scene, and then something opposite about 20 minutes later, because the film is wrapping you up and challenging you. By the end of The Searchers, you're forced to confront the uncompromising truth that when revenge ends up becoming obsession, it loses all its meaning. True Grit This is one of Wayne's most genre-bending films, mixing adventure, comedy, drama and tear-jerking emotion. I'd also say in some elements it's a family film. In True Grit, Wayne delivers a tour divorce performance as Rooster Cogburn, a grizzled US Marshal with a rough exterior, but a heart of gold. It's one of his most charismatic and entertaining performances, and it's a different role to what he normally plays, as instead of being the confident hero he normally is, he plays someone who is a lot more unpredictable, and starts off not wanting to get involved in conflict. I ain't never seen nobody from Texas I couldn't shade. Let me, if you get crossways of me and you'll think a thousand of brick have fell on you. You wished you was back at the Alamo with Travis. True Grit explores themes of redemption, justice and the bond between unlikely allies. This is one of the first films where such an odd couple dynamic was focused on, with a youngster and a veteran who couldn't be more different, finding common ground and a sense of purpose in each other. We witness a young character becoming old before her time in Matty Ross, played by Kim Darby a child who is seeking revenge for her father's murder. It's an uncompromising look at the ruthlessness of the West, how even children were getting involved in the dog-eat-dog -dog world of fastest trigger finger. Courage and bravery really are the central themes in True Grit. Rooster and Matty represent a different time, when life was harsh and ruthless, but giving up was never an option. The only thing that could ever endure was showing real True Grit. Rio Bravo as well as being one of the best westerns ever made, Rio Bravo is at the same time one of the most entertaining and endearing movies ever made, full stop. Rio Bravo tells the story of Sheriff John T. Chance, played by Wayne, who must team up with both his friends and his uncertain allies to defend his town against a gang of outlaws. John Wayne and director Howard Hawks discovered the magic formula with Rio Bravo and actually went on to remake this film several times with the movies El Dorado and Rio Lobo. Such a fun and easy formula to play around with, and I don't blame Wayne for returning to it. The central idea and themes are just an absolute blast. It's classic good versus evil, and Wayne is right at home. It's one of his most powerful performances as the tough and determined Sheriff Chance. Some of his best lines and deliveries are right here in Rio Bravo. Sorry, don't get it done, dude. That's the second time you hit me. Don't ever do it again. Maybe you're right. They aren't much good anymore. John Wayne is working with a stellar supporting cast with Dean Martin as the tragic drunk sheriff, Ricky Nelson as the cool young deputy, Walter Brennan as the quirky stumpy, Angie Dickinson also stars as Feathers, Chance's love interest. The sheer charisma on display of all these actors is incredible, and the chemistry of the characters is a huge part of what makes Rio Bravo work so well. Quentin Tarantino called it the greatest hangout movie ever made which basically means it's a movie you consistently go back to and enjoy spending time with the characters again and again because they feel like your friends. And I agree, there's such a natural and pleasant feeling to Rio Bravo, despite the conflict and issues the characters are dealing with. Director Howard Hawks really lets the film breathe and allows you to settle in and get to know the characters, making Rio Bravo a joyful time with friends, not just a regular western. The film feels very breezy and fun, but it's not afraid to crank up the excitement when it needs to, now and again having you sit up from your chill session to realise there is indeed a serious threat around the corner, and in some moments this movie is genuinely gripping, turning into a game of chess between the heroes and villains. So what do you think of my list of the 5 most definitive John Wayne westerns? Do you agree with it or would you choose other entries in his massive filmography? Let's talk about John Wayne's legendary movies in the comments below. Thanks for watching, please consider subscribing if you enjoy these sorts of videos and I will see you guys next time.